this year marks the 150th anniversary of the signing of the Treaty of Friendship and Commerce between Belgium and Thailand, which contributed greatly to the development of various bilateral relations through the long period of time. Today, the Belgian ambassador to Thailand, His Excellency Mr. Philippe Rudelka, will tell us about various activities and events that will take place here, both in Thailand and Belgium, in commemorate this important milestone in uh, bilateral relations. Swadika. Swadika. Your Excellency. Thank you, madam. Well, so excited <laughs> to sit you so in the creamy, classic. <laughs> Uh, residence. Yes, Belgium is very lucky to have this house in the center, in the heart of Bangkok. And it is a historical house which was built in 1917 in a very interesting period for the development of Thai architecture. Yes, so let's see. Now. We're going to go around. You're going to take me around. With pleasure. But before that, allow me to introduce Ambassador who's living here for one and a half years. Right? Yes. And uh, tell me, this is the first uh, trip or first uh, post in Thailand? It's my first posting in Thailand, but not my first posting in Asia, because I've been the Belgian ambassador to Singapore a few years ago. Oh, yeah. Then I worked for the United Nations, I worked for UNESCO, mm -hmm. and then in July 2013, I was working for the United Nations in New York, and I received a phone call from Brussels mm. to say that our older king, King Albert of the Belgians, had uh, resigned and his son, who is now uh, King Philip of the Belgians, was becoming our new king. And I was called back to Brussels to be part of the team of advisors. And I became the Grand Chamberlain of the Royal Palace. Oh, voila. Oh, I can imagine the smilingly Chamberlain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, our diplomatic relations have been long back. Yes. Now, today, with the representative, with the diplomats of uh, today, it's harder than past 150 years already. So tell me, uh, what is, uh, what kind of a cooperation or a diplomatic relation is the heavy in the field? So it all started with trade first. So the first treaty that we signed 150 years ago was a treaty about trade to facilitate the trade between Thailand and Belgium. Mm -hmm. And I think Thailand at the time was very much in, uh, interested in diversifying its uh, trade partners in, 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 in the world. And Belgium was at that time a thriving economy and we also needed new markets for our products. After that, in the later 19th century, it is the friendship between the two kings who took over. They are His Majesty King Rama V of Thailand and our King Leopold II became very good friends. And uh, King Rama V um, uh, paid several visits to Brussels, to Belgium, and that gave a new impetus, of course, to the bilateral relations to a point that um, uh, the king of the Belgians sent one of his ministers to Bangkok to help King Rama V to modernize the judicial system of Thailand and also help Thailand to negotiate treaties with uh, some of the big powers, France and Britain, not to quote them, that were very active in the region. And the king of Thailand needed some advice from other European powers to preserve the independence of Thailand. When we flash back of the olden days, I just cannot imagine that, how did they get to know each other? But Thailand are extremely one corner, Belgium is another. How far could they reach? Is there any sign? But you know that better than I do, but I think Thailand in the 19th century, it's a little bit like Japan, right? You were lucky to have a very far-sighted king who understood that the country needed to modernize, and at that time, the center of modernity was in Europe. Now the center of modernity is in, is in Asia. Europeans come to Asia to learn, but at that time, it was in Europe. And King Rama V sent his uh, envoys to Europe, to Russia, to France, to Britain, to Germany, to Holland, to Belgium. And that is how the contacts were established. How do we uh, get the development for the future to come? Well, the three main acts or points of our relations these days, I would start with the royal families. It remains very important in the friendship. We will talk a little bit further about it, but there is a very strong nearly family connection there which of course leads the entire movement of our bilateral relations. The other point is about Belgians in Thailand. You, you know what? Thailand makes Europeans happy. I, I don't know how you do it, but the Europeans and the Belgians who live here are happy, all of them. 
So more and more people are coming here. We now have 120,000 tourists a year. It is growing very fast. And this is the fifth largest Belgian community in the world, after France and Spain and America. So it's very important for us. And those people, of course, contribute. They, a lot of them are married with Thai people, and um, the children belong to both cultures. So that also is an important part of our bilateral relations. The other element is economy. And you see here behind me some of the companies, Thai companies, Belgian companies, who are supporting our commemorations. And from the Thai side, I'm very proud to say that Thai companies have now started to invest in Belgium also. It's not only Belgium investing in Thailand. The group CP, which is one of the major friends of Belgium amongst Thai companies, is here. And they have um, developing some high-tech uh, business in, in Belgium. King's Power is, in, is in, um, investing in Belgium as well. And then on the other hand, you've got, of course, the Belgian beer is here. Abbey in Best, La Artois, Hoo Garden, who is present here. We have Katunasi, which is helping you to export your petrochemicals and your car. It's a, a big uh, a logistics group. And of course, you all know the Blue Elephant in Bangkok, which is a wonderful Thai-Belgian restaurant, which, uh, which is also supporting us, a nice symbol of the friendship between our countries. So how about the New Year? Is it, can you give us a, some sample, example of the celebration of the 150 years commemoration? So we do some more official things, mm -hmm. and we do more activities closer to the people, to the student, to the young people. And for instance, today, yeah. you are welcome in, in, our, in, in, in the House of the Belgians, and you can see there are many students and young people because it's the European Language Cafe. Once a year, in a European Embassy, we present the main languages, several of the languages of the European Union, French and Dutch and German, Polish, Hungarian, Spanish, Portuguese. And Thai students come here to learn about those languages and to see how they can possibly learn those languages and go to study in those countries. So I think it's a good idea that you come the day that so many young Thai people will be here. It's, they are the future. They are the future. But talk about education. So Belgium is using what language? So we have three official languages. The majority of the population speaks Dutch in Belgium. Then we have French, about 40% of the population. And we have a very small German-speaking minority in the eastern part of Belgium, but their language is recognized and considered as our third national language. In terms of education, the Thai student, is there any more of Thai students visit Belgium just for education? Hello. It is something that we need to develop. It has started. The first event commemorating the friendship between our countries in January was the launch of a new partnership between Tamasat University and Leuven University in Belgium, which is one of the best European universities. And um, uh, Leuven University will train about 15 young engineers from Thailand every year in Leuven to study, also to have contacts with the Belgian high-tech companies. And after that, they can come back to Thailand and use their expertise in the interest of your country. And this is something, it exists also with other universities in Belgium, like Ghent or Antwerp but it is something that should be developed, really. And we also want to attract more Belgian students to Chula Longkorn, to Tamasat, to your famous universities here. Thank you. <laughs> but again, how would you make, because Belgium is a country where people love to go, but, but how much, if they, once they are there, or they should be not to miss it all. Can you give some of the prominent or some um, must, it's a must to the city? But the gastronomy is number one. Eh? We are famous for the fact that we are in the center of Europe. So our gastronomy, our cuisine is a mixture of French and English or German Central European influence. And it's very nice. People do enjoy a lot our gastronomy. Of course, you know our chocolate and our beer. And when they are there, uh, if they are interested um, uh, by history, we have very nice uh, historical cities. We mentioned Ghent already, Antwerp, Bruges, uh, Liège, which is represented there. Um, Brussels is a wonderful historical city as well. Um, it's a fantastic place to do some sport. We have the North Sea with a lot of sport activities there. You can go to the forest. They have shopping for the people who prefer to do shopping. And from Brussels, you have the fast train that can bring you very quickly to Amsterdam, to Paris, to London, or to Germany. Ah, by using the, the visa. The and Schengen visa, visa, same visa for all countries. And same money also, except UK, otherwise same money. For our people to come to Thailand, you mean? Uh, 
Well, the three main reasons is first the position of your country in the center of ASEAN. That's very important. Everybody mentions that you have excellent connections and ex excellent infrastructure. And they also find very motivated workers um, who, 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 who work very seriously for those companies. So there are the three main reasons for which they like to come here. Imagine a strategic location for business that connects you to over 3 billion Asian consumers while you float across a vast bay among dolphins. Imagine a well-connected logistics and communication network for fast movement of your business operation while you discover new ways to relax. Imagine a network of specialized cities connecting your business across the value chain while you socialize at breathtaking views with business partners. Imagine a committed government that strongly supports your business while you enjoy Thailand's finest dining experience. Imagine Thailand. Invest in Thailand. Here is a place where amazing is never ending. Everywhere has a charming Thai way of life. Every moment is filled with joy and truly refreshes the soul. Every sense is awakened with unforgettable flavors to tempt your taste buds. Only a smile can make friends for no reason. Let's experience Thainess and share your moments with us. Thailand awaits you in the amazing Thailand Tourism Year 2018. So the bilateral trade is about two and three billion dollars a year and it is growing fast. But the most important thing I wanted to underline is the fact that our Belgian investors, I've mentioned a few here, are extremely satisfied to be here. And all the ones I meet, they want to invest more and to develop their activities. And also now we see Thai companies starting to invest also in Belgium, which is a very interesting factor. I, 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 like, I think it's so important. That means the uh, uh, popularity of the particular commodities that the, Bel the, the Belgian people like it or what? That's why no. to explore there is not something easy, something which is... For our popular. people to come to Thailand, you mean? Uh, well, the three main reasons is first the position of your country in the center of ASEAN. That's very important. Everybody mentions that you have excellent connections and ex excellent infrastructure and they also find very motivated workers um, who, 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 who work very seriously for those companies. So there are the three main reasons for which they like to come here. Is there any celebration there, 150? Yes. Any celebration there in, in, in Belgium? Of course. Um, my very dear colleague, Ambassador Manasvi, Ambassador of Thailand in Belgium, he was here yesterday evening. We spent the evening together because he brought some Belgian high-tech people, people who are working on smart cities in Belgium, and it's also a priority in Thailand to develop smart cities. Konken, for instance. I visited the governor of Konken and the University of Konken recently. Konken would like to become a, a major smart city in Thailand. So Ambassador Manasvi brought some of those researchers here, and he's organizing also several celebrations uh, in, uh, in Belgium. And we heard that ambassadors here one and a half. Mm. I could see some of the Thai language. <laughs> Did you learn before or you No, here? I don't really speak. Uh, only pom pom. Put, put, noi. I miss that, you see. That's a, well, it's nice to know that because uh, being a diplomat of the foreign country with your year long 
between, especially our country have the royal family. Yes. But do, and then today they do in yes. Oh yes, so the, 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 the friendship, the main friendship developed between King Bumibon and King Baudouin of the Belgians. Because as two young men, they lived together in Switzerland after the Second World War. And in both countries, uh, there were political reasons for which both young men became king very young. Very, very young, both of them. And of course, they had this similar experience. So it becomes why they developed their friendship after the years. Now they unfortunately both passed away. But I think there is a very strong intention from uh, the new king of Thailand and the new king in Belgium to keep and to develop further those uh, very good relations. I know that, of course, Princess uh, Sirin Dawn is also visiting Belgium regularly and she has many friends there. Mm. Being an ambassador to Thailand, any specific uh, uh, interest that you like to explore, you like to create more of the but companies is of course the priority uh, uh, and, and, and they are very well, uh, very active here, but we help them when we can. I'm interested in universities. As I was telling you, I, I hope we could develop further the cooperation between uh, uh, universities. And then, Madame Kusuma, there is an important factor in international relations. Civil society practitioners play a more and more active role in the relationships between countries. And Thailand is probably the most lively civil society in the whole entire ASEAN region. It's, it's, it, it has been like that for the last 30 years, and it remains like that, and we all hope that it will keep developing further. You have very strong NGOs, very uh, active citizens about gender equality, about environment, about all sorts of issues. And in Belgium also, we have a very active civil society. Um, we. For instance, the other day we had a discussion about the tomb plastic, all the plastic bags, ah. which is a problem we have and a problem you have. So okay. civil society practitioners can help the governments to find new solutions, perhaps, and try to diminish a little bit the amount of plastic bags that we throw in the seas, millions, hundreds of millions every year. So civil society is something I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to work with. We had here a round table last month uh -huh. about um, uh, 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 transgender NGOs because Thailand is also one of the most advanced country in Asia for respect for people who have another sexual life and Belgium also is quite considered to be a progressive country in Europe so we had a meeting here with transgender people from Belgium and Thailand who exchanged about their experience and one senator, one Belgian uh, senator, who is a transgender person, came to explain about her life. And that was very interesting, I think, for the Thai colleagues to listen about it. But we also listened to the experience of Thai civil society practitioners. You are a very creative country. You're a fantastic country. A lot of interesting people everywhere. Well, I'm surprised that you're working on it. <laughs> of course. Part of my mission. Uh, of course. Well, they, they heard about it, they'll be so overwhelming to, to, to think that someone from the European country thinking about this matter. Oh, they invite me now regularly to all their <laughs> events, careful. which I, <laughs> which I like very much. Uh, it's, I think it's very interesting. Yeah. Um, culture also, cinema, music, uh, we, we, we should try okay. to develop that yeah, yeah. What did you a bit do? further. Do you have done anything? Not much yet. Let me be honest with you, not much yet. Okay. But we will, we will try. We, you have here Mahidon University and the Cultural Center of Thailand. You have wonderful uh, symphonic orchestras, very good music schools. And in Belgium also, there is a long tradition for that. So we should try to uh, work on it. And there is, you were asking me about the events that we organized this year. Talking of civil society, there is another file, which is another common challenge. I like also to consider common challenges that we have in Belgium or in Europe that you have in Thailand. Road safety is one of those, road safety is one of those challenges. Do you feel uh, that Thailand should do something? Thailand, uh, of course, the, the statistics are well known. Eh? It is a big challenge for your government. It is also a challenge in Belgium and in Europe. As I told you, until I came here, I was working in the Royal Palace. Of all the people, I met many, many Belgian people when I was serving our king. But the people who have impressed me most are a, a Belgian NGO uh, called Ouders van Verontgelukte Kinderen in Dutch. It's the association of parents of children who were victims of road accidents because of drivers who drank too much, men usually, who drank too much and drove too fast and killed a child. And 
this, we have a, an extremely active association and they do two things. They do lobbying to our governments, local level, federal level, to force our government to take more measures. No alcohol in the car. Uh, do have the police should uh, enforce the respect for the speed limits. And they do another effort which is to gather the families so that the families who lost a dear one can, can, can learn together to live again, to continue their life. They do a fantastic job. And they will come here in November to meet also Thai civil society practitioners, to meet your decision makers, your ministry, uh, to see how we can compare experiences and perhaps learn from each other. And we will also have a big consular meeting with the consuls, uh, the European consuls, because it's also a problem for our nationals. Uh, um, many cause accidents because our national like to drink a little sometimes, sometimes a little all holiday, easy holiday. And, uh, we want the Thai police to be stricter on that, and we are ready to help on that. Uh, it seems like we are um, talking to uh, not only the Ben Hill ambassador to Thailand, but, but an NGO. <laughs> who really work for everything. He is so much interested in education, in culture, in, in different way of life. See, like, Your Excellency, you have heard of EEC. Yes. So how do you like it? It's an economic career. Yeah, of do course. You that that's doing something. Of course. Something to be looking for for Of course, I was there last Thursday. I met the governor of Rayong and also the board, which is uh, managing Maptaput industrial area, and all our companies. Oh, but it's not a secret. Eh? Solvay is there. Chem Big Chemical Group. Already there. Uh, Katunasi, of course, oh. already there. They are all uh, investing. Umiko is also there, producing some high-tech um, catalysts for the car industry. And they all invest further because they believe in the future of the of the EEC. Uh, all aspects of it, the logistic aspects, the equipment of your new airports. I know the trains. Uh, there are lots of, but we can probably also deliver some technology or some engineering for the construction of the high-speed trains. And also in the high-tech sector, like uh, chemistry, sophisticated chemistry, or uh, the car industry, Umicore, and some uh, some uh, some uh, catalysts for for the car industry. So in many aspects, uh, the EEC is important to us. We follow very closely the developments and we are ready to work together with Thailand to develop, develop further the Eastern Corridor. Thailand 4.0. Yes. Yes. I think it's very important. And once again, you've put your finger on a common challenge we all have in Europe and here. It is how can we get more of the new technologies and IT technologies in not only in our economic life but also in our everyday lives, in our school systems. So um, when your Thai ambassador in Brussels was here uh, yesterday and for the whole week, it is to take part in a seminar on smart cities and Thailand 4.0 to try to link the researchers in Belgium and in Thailand that they can work together towards common objective. So I wish you good luck for that. It's not that easy. Eh? Uh, it's not easy in Belgium. It's not easy here either. Yeah. The Belgian ambassador has a full year activities. Is it a full year? Yes. 19. 19 activities in the year. 19 activities. So we have to choose a village. My last but um, <coughs> message. We need a message to the Thai people to mark 150 years. So I would, I would like to say to the Thai people that you are a wonderful country, a wonderful people, and you make the Belgian people who come here happy. I don't know how you do it, but you make them happy. My only wish is that more Thai people would come to Belgium so that we can make you happy as well. That's the message. That's the message, and uh, thank you very much, Excellency, and uh, we wish you all the best on what you are undertaking in this country. Thank you very much, all the best to you as well. Thank you. We end up our program. Great thanks to Belgian Ambassador to Thailand, Excellency, Mr. Philip Fidelka. We really appreciate you being with us, and uh, please take me around. I'm, it's a must to see. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you. Color. I like the color in particular. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here. Sawatikap, kapkun krap.